So I just want to quickly define what data cleaning is. It's pretty much the process of um, cleaning and formatting your data for proper analysis, whether it be getting rid of any extra spaces, making sure the entries are right, and changing the data types to see fit. And this is probably one of the most important steps for any good analysis since having unclean data usually results in you know, malfunction. Usually you get like very, very wrong um, representation of your data when you create visualizations and stuff. So it's really important to have clean, clean data to work with. And with that being said, um, we're gonna hop on to Excel to get started with our workshop. So I hope everybody has their um, data set downloaded by now and should be opened on Excel. So once you open Excel, you should sort of see this. We have a couple of worksheets that we're gonna work with today, but we should, we're should we gonna start with this clean one right here. Let's see. So yeah, in, in, this clean work, I mean, in this clean worksheet, as you can see, we have some website data. As you can see, we have with their, their location. We also have information on whether they opened or clicked on a website or not. So we have some data to work with, but as you guys can see, it's not in the most optimal of states. It's pretty, it's pretty jumbled up, it's very messy. So what we want to do first is to make sure that each, each, um, each column gets separated to different columns. So what we're gonna do is first select all the data just by, you can just click on the A and it'll automatically select all the data for you within that column. And what we want to do is go under data. We're going to go to text to columns. And what this is going to do is Excel is going to automatically just separate all the data into different columns. And it's going to be delimited since they're already separated by commas. But if we didn't have you know anything to separate off of, we would have to manually create separations with the fixed width. And as you guys can see, we can you know create spacings manually but since we already have commas we don't have to do that and and since it's comma separating our our data it's, we're just going to select comma and we're going to press finish and as you can see um all the all the data separated nice and into different columns makes and was what's that makes analyzing data much easier instead of having to you know see see jumbled up data and all in one column yeah, we have that done now. We also have some empty rows. Um, usually when you have empty rows or just like totally blank rows, it's just a good idea to, you know, just put them at the bottom just by using sort. So it's gonna, what Excel is gonna do, is gonna put all the text into alphabetic order and it's gonna send all these to the bottom. So what we're gonna do is select all the data and the cool shortcut to that, if you have very large data sets is by pressing Control shift right. And it's gonna select all the columns until the first blank or the first empty empty row, I mean column. And then to select everything downwards here is it's gonna press control shift down and it's gonna send you until the first um, the first break. So you wanna keep pressing control shift down until you reach the bottom. So yeah. Now that we have all our data selected, um, all we're gonna do is just under the home ribbon, I think home tab, uh, it's gonna go on sort. You can sort in any alphabetic order, you can go A to Z. As you can see when we sort it, um, sends all the empty cells to the bottom, which makes it really convenient and just makes everything tidier. Yeah, and so that's looking much better than what we had so far, but as you can see, we also have some formatting issues with our dates. Um, this can occur if you're you know, importing large amounts of data from different regions, different time zones. As you can see, this um, you can't understand this. Um, so what we're gonna do is, it's really easy. All you're gonna do is select all the dates, all the data that you want to select. And what you're gonna do is under the home, home tab, you're just gonna go here, which is the number format. And you're just going to change the number type to a short date. So and it's going to show up these hashtags. All you have to do is just expand it. 
then now it's all in a uniform, uniform format. So we actually can understand our dates now. So you want to do that if you if you're importing. If this can happen if you're importing from different regions. So it's good good idea to have this. And uh, one more um, feature that I want to show you is the is the trim function, which gets rid of any extra spaces before, in between, or after after your um, entry. Um, mine's already done for some reason, but let me come up with the example. So yeah, let's say um, we you know we had like a lot of weird spacings with our text data. This could happen if you're importing like large amounts of text data, and when you're importing it, it could just result in you know weird formats like this. So what we're gonna do is utilize this um, Excel function called trim. What's going to do, like I said earlier, is going to just get rid of any extra spaces within the text data. So what we want to do is first create a new column. All we're going to do is right click and insert. And here, right next to the whatever text data we're working with, we're just going to go type equal, trim, and you can press tab. And then it's gonna ask us for a text, which we want to trim spaces off of this um, Angela Thompson. So we're gonna press A2 and we're just gonna press enter. So yeah, as you guys can see, it gets rid of all these extra spaces. And to paste the format down, all we're gonna do is just um, double click at, you guys. if you guys see that square at the bottom right, if you double click, it's just gonna paste the formula down until there's the break. Yeah, as you can see, all our spacing issues are just, what we have to do now is just um, paste our values here. As you guys can see, when I click, it shows us the formula instead of the actual um, uh, text value. So what we're going to do is select all the data. We're going to copy it by Control-C or right copy Control-C. And you're just going to click on A2. And instead of just pasting, you want to just paste the values. So as you can see, all our spacing, all our spacings are issues are addressed, and since we figured that out, we don't need this um, column anymore. So we're just gonna delete it. So yeah, those are some of the basic like cleaning functions within Excel. Like I said, this is a pretty introductory introductory Excel course, so um, Excel workshop. So I'll just keep it there. And with that being said, we can go back to the slides too. Learn a little bit more about some of the different Excel tools.